Assalamu alaikum dear brothers and sisters. As humans, we experience changing circumstances that bring us happiness or sadness. It is rare to have a constant state of either. Life is a series of ups and downs, a test by its very nature. We Muslims are encouraged to make dua for every situation that we deal, be it the dua of any prophet that we repeat or the dua that we make to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on our own language. But if we ask ourselves one question, and that is why do we make dua at all when our fate has already been written and locked away in Loh al Mahfud, we all know that our destiny or qadr was written for us when we were still in the wombs of our mother. It is because dua has the power to change the qadr. Dua represents the highest level of abdiya or devotion as it signifies complete reliance in Allah, acknowledging that every circumstance, whether favorable or unfavorable, joyous or sorrowful, advantageous or disadvantageous, affluent or impoverished, is solely controlled by Allah Almighty and that He alone holds the ultimate power to govern all affairs. He possesses the keys to His boundless and infinite treasures. Dua is the act of connecting a servant to their master. The servant raises his hands, much like a beggar, in a gesture of supplication. In one beautiful verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comforts his servant to make supplication to him. And whenever he will raise his hand for making the supplication, he will find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala near to him. The verse of Surah Baqarah was revealed to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when the Sahabis used to ask multiple questions to the Prophet regarding their issues and problems. By revealing this verse, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala hinted that there is no need for any mediator between Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and His servant. Whenever the servant will call upon Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, he will listen to his plea and he will be near to his servant. Additionally, in this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has used the word I instead of we for himself to emphasize the closeness between him and his servant when he calls upon him. In this verse, the proximity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to his servants is described in a way that exceeds any possible measurement or comparison, and it is associated with the promise of a prompt answer to their supplications. This highlights the importance of the servant's genuine prayer and the swiftness of Allah's response. As this month of Ramadan is a month of making loads of dua, we should reflect upon this beautiful verse that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent as a comfort to us and He indeed is very near to us when we make dua. This verse also assures us servants to be patient for the answer after making dua sincerely. Allah has heard our plea and He will respond according to His perfect will. He will either give us what we want at the best moment or He will replace your need with something even better. But the dua will never go unheard. He hears every voice and knows even what is kept secret in our hearts. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among the people of dua. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cleanse our hearts so that we may get closer and closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this Ramadan. Ameen.